in the last class uh, we have talked about uh, the biometric system and uh, different components of a biometric system and then uh, we talked about uh, uh, different biometric functionalities and uh, we have concluded uh, our discussion uh, by discussing uh, performance metrics uh, of a biometric systems uh, that are used for verification or identification okay so uh, in order to in order to exhibit the performance of uh, unimodal and multimodal biometric systems or uh, in order uh, in, in the form of verification or identification and different biometrics uh, uh, different biometrics uh, performance metrics are used so we have uh, discussed in uh, performance metrics in the last class so today i we will continue uh, that discussion uh, by introducing different types of biometric systems okay so based on uh, based on biometrics modality uh, we can categorize the biometric systems into two groups okay so unimodal biometric systems and multimodal biometric systems now what do you call unimodal biometric systems unimodal biometric systems or unibiometric systems are designed based on a single identifier okay <clears throat> single identifier means here uh, only uh, one biometric trait is used to design an unimodal biometric system or unibiometric uni systems so such as face fingerprint iris palm print etc so this type of uh, biometric systems is useful when single biometrics evidence is available and design complexity is found to be less than that of other type of biometric systems okay so unimodal biometric systems is based on a, a single biometric trait or single identifier and these biometric systems uh, is useful when these biometric systems these biometric evidence is available and design complexity is found to be very less okay then what is multimodal biometric system in multimodal biometric systems multiple um, biometric evidences are uh, consolidated together okay so these multiple biometric this multiple evidences are obtained from different biometric traits or different biometric systems then this um, biometric uh, then this multiple informations are consolidated together okay and uh, and design a multimodal biometric system so this multi biometric systems or multimodal biometric systems can be uh, can be uh, implemented by using face and fingerprint or face or face and eye is face and palm print so uh, we can have a multiple number of biometric uh, systems or biometric traits together to uh, to fuse them and uh, uh, and uh, develop a multimodal biometric system now what are the drawbacks of uh, unibiometric systems that uh, that uh, are found in the single uh, in single modality uh, or unibiometric systems so the first drawback is that single source of biometric evidence that means the single source of biometric evidence is not very uh, powerful means of uh, powerful means of uh, biometric trait okay so if that uh, if that biometric trait or biometric evidence does not available for enrollment or recognition then that becomes uh, that becomes uh, exhibit the low performance that means uh, if that uh, biometric system is, is not available completely that biometric evidence is not available completely then that uh, after enroll after enrollment of that biometric evidence or um, uh, or after uh, after getting into for uh, biometric uh, matching or biometric recognition then that biometric unibiometric system will exhibit uh, the low performance okay so that is why single source of biometric evidence is not a very powerful means of biometric evidence then uh, lack of invariance 
So this is another uh, drawback of univariometric system, non-universality. The university says that the every bio, every every individual should have um, biometrics evidence. Okay, or must possess the biometrics evidence. So, uh, uh, for example, if uh, if a person does not have uh, does not have the complete fingerprint, okay, or uh, the finger or the finger is missing from the hand, then uh, that uh, evidence cannot be used for enrollment or recognition. So that is why this non-universality uh, is another drawback of univariometric system. Then uh, univariometric systems can have noisy sensor data. So due to noisy sensor data, univariometric systems uh, exhibit low performance. So uh, the presence of uh, presence of noisy data, uh, presence of noisy noisy data. So this uh, <coughs> exploit uh, when whenever whenever the biometrics algorithms or feature extraction techniques exploit uh, this noisy data then that the noisy data mixed up with the uh, mixed up with the original uh, or you can say the relevant uh, features and uh, that uh, make up the system for low performance okay so uh, ultimately that uh, univariometric systems uh, exhibit the low performance and the recognition accuracy are getting decreases so this is the, the this is another drawback and lack of individuality and then susceptibility of circumvention so these two are another drawbacks of univariometric systems then uh, these drawbacks basically inspired to uh, build up a multi-biometric systems so uh, these are the these are the reasons uh, that is why the researchers are interested to uh, interested to develop multi biometric systems then we will see that what are the different advantages advantages of multi biometric systems okay so in multi biometric systems we can consolidate evidences obtained from multiple biometric sources so if we consider for example if we consider three biometric systems uh, like face fingerprint and iris and uh, and uh, and we are uh, we are making these uh, three biometric uh, sources uh, to be available for a uh, fusion at uh, at a certain uh, fusion level then uh, we can consolidate these evidences for a, for a multi biometric systems then these multi biometric systems will be a very powerful means of uh, biometric system or human identification system and uh, whenever uh, some, some biometric systems uh, like your face or fingerprint or iris uh, is compromised then other biometric systems will be uh, available for recognition so that is why these multiple biometric systems uh, are very useful uh, for cons for uh, consolidating the evidences obtained from different sources the second advantage is exploit useful and redundant information from each biometric trait. Okay, so uh, this is very much uh, this is very much uh, relevant that every biometric system uh, can have useful and redundant uh, information. And whenever these informations are used for multi biometric fusion, then this information uh, will uh, will produce uh, the rich uh, feature information or rich information that will be useful for making the biometric system uh, more powerful than the earlier uh, versions of biometric systems. Then it minimizes uh, the effect of noises, non universality, and spoof attacks. Okay, so uh, spoof attack means uh, whenever uh, one biometric if, if there are multiple biometric systems which are used for multi biometric fusions then among them if one such bio one one biometric system is compromised okay one biometric system is compromised then other biometric systems will be available so that is the that, that is uh, that is the uh, degree of flexibility or we can say the uh, the biometric systems can be uh, can be protected from spoof attacks so spoof attacks. Uh, so here, different uh, different forms of biometric systems are used. 
so if one form is compromised then other forms will also want so what are the design uh, issues of multi biometric systems so information sources information sources means uh, the multi biometric uh, system uses multiple sources of information that are obtained from different biometric systems so mode of operation so here mode of operation means so your mode of operation works in two different ways the first way says that uh, we can have the biometric we can have the different sources of information that are obtained from multiple biometrics uh, trait or multiple biometric uh, systems in parallel in parallel paradigm or in serial paradigm so so these paradigms may be different uh, one uh, one may use the parallel paradigms and another may use the serial paradigms okay so acquisition mode may be different uh, but uh, whenever we uh, whenever we think uh, about uh, uh, process the data then the, we can have the similar uh, similar mode of operation that means the parallel and uh, parallel or serial okay well, that means the sequential or simultaneous so simultaneously you can process the data or we can uh, we can uh, sequentially we can process the data so uh, parallelly one one mode is parallel another mode is serial so acquisition and processing these two uh, forms of operations uh, can be made available uh, with uh, parallel paradigms or serial paradigms then the level of fusion so level of fusion means uh, at what level we can uh, we can uh, fuse the biometric system fuse means the integrate the biometric systems okay so whenever we whenever we uh, think of uh, consolidating the uh, consolidating the multiple biometrics evidences together then uh, we can think at uh, we can think at sensor level okay we can uh, think at uh, feature level we can think at score level we can think at rank level and we can think at decision level so these are the five different level at which we can fuse the different sources of biometric systems together uh, to uh, develop a multi biometric systems okay then uh, we can have the fusion approach so what is, what will be the suitable fusion approach uh, for the uh, for the uh, given biometric for the given multi biometric system so whenever uh, whenever we try to uh, develop a multi biometric system then uh, we need to uh, we need to fix up the fusion approach that to be used in the multi biometric systems okay so fusion approach is important here so we need to select a suitable fusion approach uh, to uh, develop a multi biometric systems so these are the design issues so, so whenever we whenever we uh, think of designing a multi biometric systems or develop a multi biometric systems so we need to remember uh this uh, design issues uh, for uh, development of a multi biometric systems now here we can see an example where we can see that a fingerprint sensor a microphone and camera so these three sensors are available uh, with a mobile phone okay and now uh, these three sensors uh, they collect some data so data means uh, fingerprint sensor uh, collect the fingerprint okay microphone data collect the voice and camera uh, collect uh, the face image now these three uh, three sources of information are obtained from uh, three different uh, biometric state so one is face another is voice another is fingerprint okay now these three sources of information obtained from three different biometric states or you know, different biometric systems are fused together that means uh, if you want to if you want to unlock your mobile phone then you have to be uh, you have to be authenticated by a face image by your voice and by your fingerprint okay so so uh, different independent independent functionality may be available that means uh, if you want to authenticate it by your fingerprint that may be available with your mobile phone okay instead of using camera or microphone but 
the multimodal biometric systems or multi biometric objective of multi biometric system is to whenever you try to authenticate whenever you try to authenticate it by some uh, by some mechanism then you have to be authenticated uh, with multiple biometric tests okay that means the fusion uh, that means the fusion score or uh, fusion proximity will decide whether you will be able to authenticate it by uh, that mechanism or not okay so independently we can independent biometrics independently use biometric systems uh, can be used for authentication but uh, here since we are talking about the multi biometric systems therefore these uh, three biometric tests uh, will be used together okay then some fusion proximity will be generated and that fusion proximity will decide whether you will be able to uh, authenticate it by the mechanism or not so what are the different sources of information that means the multiple sources of information so based on the based on the information that we that we have for multi biometric systems uh, we can uh, divide this information into five different categories or five different groups okay so one such group is multiple sensors then multiple representation okay then we can have multiple biometric Uh, multiple biometric tests then we can have multiple instances and uh, finally uh, we can have multiple samples okay now what is multiple sensors so multiple sensors means uh, if we uh, use if we use different sensors for capturing the same biometric trait then uh, we can say that multiple sensors we are using uh, for capturing the biometric trait okay so for example uh, to capture the fingerprint uh, fingerprint data uh, fingerprint data from a fingerprint then uh, we can use the optical sensor as well as we can use the solid state uh, solid state fingerprint sensor okay these are the two different sensors so we can use these two different sensors to capture the same biometric trait or same biometric evidence like fingerprint and uh, the whenever these two uh two uh, two sensors will have uh, two different uh, two different um, biometric evidence which are obtained from the same biometric tape or same uh, same biometric uh, evidence then uh, we can fuse this uh, two instances uh, together for developing a multi biometric systems that means a multi by this is a, this is one form of multi biometric system so where we where we uh, uh, fuse Uh, two different instances which are obtained from two different uh, two different uh, sensors okay and by targeting a, a single um, uh, biometric evidence then we can have the multiple representations so multiple representations mean we can use the different biometrics uh, algorithms okay so for example uh, for fingerprint we can use the minutia based uh, minutia based biometric algorithm and uh, another algorithm we can use the texture based biometric algorithm or fingerprint algorithm now these two different uh, representations or these two different biometric algorithms are used for the same fingerprint evidence okay so that means so whenever we use the minutia based uh, fingerprint algorithm so that uh, algorithm may extract the uh, different minutia points uh, over a fingerprint image and the texture based texture based algorithm uses to extract the different textures uh, over the fingerprint and uh, whenever we have this type of information then we can uh, we can put together uh, put together these two information uh, for fusion and developing a fingerprint biometric system or some other biometric systems that has that are having uh, some other biometric systems that are having the similar type of representations multiple representations and we can use this multiple representations we can use this multiple algorithms uh, to have a multi biometric systems or multi modal biometric systems okay
then we can use the different multiple biometric states multiple biometrics we can use the face and iris we can use face fingerprint or we can use face iris palm print face iris fingerprint so whenever the multiple biometric states are fused together then uh, we can also have a, a multimodal biometric systems where uh, different biometric states are used instead of using the single biometric states or multiple instances of a single biometric states. Then uh, we can have the multiple instances. So multiple instances means uh, we can, uh, for example, uh, we can obtain the biometrics evidence from left eye or right eye. Then uh, we fuse, to, uh, fuse them together uh, for uh, developing a multi-biometric systems. We can use the multiple in samples. So multiple samples means, uh, for example, if we use our fingerprint to obtain a biometric sample, then uh, that fingerprint may be placed in different view, uh, at different uh, way. That means uh, with different viewpoints, we can have the multiple uh, samples of a same fingerprint image of a same biometric evidence. Now. If we if we roll our fingerprint over uh, over the over the optical sensor, whenever we place our finger on optical sensor or solid state sensor, then we can roll our fingerprint over the sensor. Okay, so by rolling our fingerprint, uh, we can have the multiple samples. Now these multiple samples can be fused together to develop a multi-biometric systems. Okay. So these are the uh, different uh, sources of information. We can put together this information to develop a multi-biometric systems. And uh, the, this multi-biometric systems will be proved uh, better than that of single biometric systems or unimodal biometric systems. Any questions? Do you have any questions? No, sir. OK. So just few moments ago, uh, we were talking about the mode of operation. So mode of operation may be, uh, may be divided into uh, two groups. Uh, one is the serial or cascade mode, another is uh, parallel mode. Okay, so whenever uh, we, uh, whenever we, uh, we are interested to develop a cascade based or serial based uh, multimodal biometric systems, then the, we can see that uh, uh, multiple number of uh, multiple number of biometrics uh, evidences or multiple number of biometric systems are used uh, together in uh, uh, used together serially okay then every biometric systems here every biometric systems uh, produces uh, some uh, pr some kind of proximity okay so here you can see that three biometric dates are used fingerprint face and hand geometry so here uh, for fingerprint we are asking uh, is additional biometrics data required so that means here uh, whenever we are in uh, whenever uh, we are we are uh, putting this uh, multiple number of uh, multiple number of biometric dates uh, together for authentication or identification then independently we can use these uh, biometric systems okay that means uh, whenever we use the fingerprint we are asking whether uh, is additional biometrics data is required or not if uh, if uh, if the answer is no then uh, we determine the identity because since uh, we are trying to determine the identity therefore we can use the one or more more than one biometric tests okay 
So if we are interested to use more than one biometric step, then uh, we go for yes answer. Okay. And whenever we go for yes, then another biometric state like face are fused together. Then we can have the fingerprint plus face. And uh, again, we are asking the same question is additional biometric data required? If the answer is no, then we determine we determine the identity at this stage. Okay. And otherwise, uh, we will go for another biometric state like hand geometry. Okay. If we if we go for yes answer, then we add another biometric trait or another biometric system like hand geometry. Then we try to determine the identity with this with the fusion of this three biometric trait. Okay, fingerprint plus face plus hand geometry. And this is the parallel mode of operation. In parallel mode of operation. Here uh, we can see, so uh, in parallel mode of operation, we can see that uh, this, uh, thing, uh, this biometric states these biometric tests work uh, parallelly okay so here uh, we uh, here we uh, produce the consolidated proximity and this consolidated proximity will be used to determine the identity of the subject now we will see the different uh, levels of fusion in multibiometrics so here we can see that uh, the fusion of multibiometric systems uh, can be divided into uh, five categories. The first uh, is the sensor level fusion, and then uh, we can have the feature level fusion, and then we can have the score level fusion, we can have decision level fusion, and another, uh, another level of fusion is there that is called a rank level fusion. So this is not, uh, rank level fusion is not shown over uh, here, okay. So we can have five uh, different levels of fusion. So what happens in sensor level fusion? Uh, sensor level fusions, uh, sensor level fusions means uh, we use the raw data, raw biometric data for fusion. So raw biometric data may contain the no, content, the noisy, no, no noise. Therefore, the data may be the noisy data. So with that noisy data. Uh, with that noisy data, the, the feature, uh, the uh, we may have the rich feature content. Okay, so this rich feature content may be fused together at sensor level. Uh, this is some this sensor level fusion sometimes called the low level fusion. So whenever we use the term low level fusion, that means uh, we are going for fusion of images. So directly, uh, so there are some uh, fusion uh, techniques. Uh, for low level fusion or sensor level fusion, we can use those techniques to uh, obtain uh, or achieve a sensor level fusion. So sensor level, sensor level fusion, uh, sensor level fusion may be achieved uh, with with uh, the same biometric test or with different biometric test. But uh, most of the works, most of the works have been done uh, on the uh, on the biometric tests where the single biometrics evidence are used with uh, single biometrics evidence or are, 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 are used to have the different variations with different uh, sensors. Okay, so for example, if we use the face evidence, then we can capture the 2D face from a digital camera and the 3D face uh, from a range uh, sensor. So range sensor means the depth uh, depth information we can obtain in the 3D phase. Now the, now we have 2D phase and 3D phase. Now this 2D phase on 3D phase can be fused together at sensor level. Okay, so this is the example of the same biometric state where we use the different sensors to obtain the different uh, instances or different information and uh, fuse them together at sensor level fusion with uh, 
uh, using different uh, sensor level fusion techniques then we can have the feature level fusion so feature level fusion uh, does not contain the noisy data that means uh, after having or after the acquisition of the biometrics evidence uh, that biometrics evidence will go through uh, a pre-processing step so in that pre-processing step we remove the uh, noisy data or uh, the noise uh, noise which are available uh, with the raw biometrics evidence so in the sensor level fusion evidence uh, evidence uh, evidence may have the noisy data but in feature level fusion after removing the noise or after uh, after uh, after discarding the noisy data from the given data set then uh, we can have the uh, features uh, which are extracted uh, uh, using different biometrics uh, algorithms okay now in feature level fusion we uh, we use the uh, we use the different sets of features uh, for fusion if we consider the right eye or left eye of a of the same biometric data then from right eye we can obtain the one set of features and from left eye we can obtain another set of features and these two sets of features two sets of features uh, of same character of same properties uh, will be fused together okay that means whenever we fuse together uh, then uh, then uh, this uh, fusion will uh, create a consolidated uh, features uh, consolidated uh, feature set and this consolidated feature set is obtained by simply concatenation so we can use the concatenation or we can use the core or we can use the we can use some sparse information or correlation uh, between them but uh, in most of the works uh, concatenation uh, concatenation concatenation is used for feature level fusion okay we can have another uh, feature level fusion technique but uh, generally uh, whenever we go for the feature level fusion of the same uh, of the features of the same properties then uh, we use the concatenation uh, for feature level fusion okay then we can have the score level fusion so in score level fusion uh, we basically uh, we basically use the matching proximities that means if we consider the iris uh, iris biometric trait and pin biometric trait uh, then we can uh, we can operate two different um, biometric uh, algorithms one for iris another for fingerprint okay that means uh, uh, we can have uh, two different uh, matcher two different matches corresponding to iris uh, iris biometrics and fingerprint biometrics now these two matches generate two matching pro different proximities okay so here we can see uh, there are three different biometric traits or three different biometrics uh, evidences iris face and fingerprint so from iris face and fingerprint these three uh, these three generates three uh, matching proximities okay by three different matches now these three matching proximities are fused together these matching proximities are nothing but the matching scores okay now these three matching scores are fused together at school level at school level okay school level means uh, we need to have or we need to produce a consolidated uh, score okay so that will infer the uh, that will infer the identity of the person or identity of the subject so in the decision module that decision will be taken by uh, taken by some mechanism by which uh, we verify the consolidated score okay see so this consolidated score is obtained by uh, fusion of uh, different matching proximities to determine the identity of the person or identity of the subject then we can have the uh, decision level fusion now what is decision level fusion so decision level fusion means uh, decision after the decision of uh, individual biometric systems so uh, we can have the we can have multiple number of decisions which are produced by the same number of biometric systems now after having the decision we can uh, fuse them together we can fuse the decisions together with uh, different uh, decision level fusion techniques one such technique is odd rule and and rule we can have more number of decision level fusion techniques like majority voting you know we can have the dempster safer decision theory 
so these are the decent level fusion techniques by which we can uh, obtain the decent level uh, fusion and this decision level fusion uses the uh, decision of the decision individual biometric systems so uh, decision means say here we can have uh, for verification we can have the we can have uh, either we can have the acceptance or rejection that means uh, either yes or no so this kind of decisions will be available uh, for fusion so we can use the all rule you can use and rule when you use the all rule that means either one either one biometric systems uh, whenever the either one biometric systems will be acceptable uh, by the uh, fusion module then uh, that uh, that consolidated uh, information uh, will be verified for uh, ident uh, verified for determining the identity of the person or identity of the subject okay so whenever we use the and rule and rule means that both the biometric uh, systems should be accepted for uh, determining the identity otherwise uh, whenever the whenever one such uh, one such biometric system is rejected by the system that means that decision module will generate the no answer and one another biometric systems uh, uh, generates yes answer so therefore whenever we fuse with uh, and rule so uh, ultimately the ultimately that uh, uh, that multimodal biometric system will generate the no answer that means uh, we cannot determine the identity of the person because of the because of consolidated decision taken by the recent level fusion uh, technique okay and majority voting means uh, with the majority majority of the decisions will be taken as the final decision okay majority of the decision will be taken as the final decision if we are using uh, for example if we are using n number of biometric systems for decision level fusion out of n number of biometric systems if p number of biometric systems are generating the yes answer okay where p number of uh, p number of biometrics uh, the addition of p number of biometric systems uh, more than the remaining number remaining uh, decision of the uh, remaining decisions of the uh, n minus p number of biometric systems then uh, this um, for, by majority voting uh, we can have the we can have the decision uh, for determining the identity of the person or identity of the subject and finally we can have the rank level fusion in the rank level fusion we fuse the uh, ranks we fuse the ranks obtained from different identification biometrics identification systems okay so in the rank level fusion we basically uh, obtain a consensus rank so consensus rank means the consolidated rank that infer the identity that infer the identity of the person that means um, by that uh, consensus rank uh, we can identify some unknown uh, unknown person or i don't know unknown subject more accurately uh, than the uh, individual uh, identification systems if the ident individual identification systems fail to identify uh, the unknown person or i don't uh, i know unknown subject then uh, we will take the help of consensus rank so consensus rank means we use the different uh, uh, different biometrics identification uh, uh, techniques or different biometrics identification systems so whenever we whenever this biometric identification biometric system put together to have the consensus uh, rank then uh, we can have this consensus consensus rank or consolidated uh, rank to identify uh, the unknown person or the unknown uh, subject so these are the various levels of fusion in multibiometrics so here uh, you can uh, here you can see we can divide the biometrics fusions uh, initially into two groups one is called the prior to matching and after matching and prior to matching have the sensor level fusion and feature level fusion and after matching uh, we can have three different levels of fusion score level fusion rank level fusion and decision level fusions and these three uh, these three uh, levels of fusions come come under after matching okay
as i as i already discussed these are the fusion strategies different fusion strategies here you can see uh, one such fusion uh, strategy is mass coal level fusion okay another uh, feature level fusion of face and fingerprint biometrics so here you can see the user identity is written for face matcher and user identity is written for fingerprint matcher and the corresponding match score is obtained from uh, individual identity okay and then we go for score fusion module that means we go for score level fusion after score level fusion we obtain the fused score for the same user identity okay uh, that are used for individual biometric systems now this fused score uh, fused score uh, will be verified uh, will be verified uh, by uh, decision module that means there will be some threshold and uh, whenever this fused score will be compared with the threshold okay so based on the threshold uh, some scores may be rejected and some scores may be accepted by the biometric systems now whenever we need the score normalization technique so uh, we can use the score normalization techniques uh, for uh, normalizing the uh, matching proximities or uh, matching scores so uh, for example uh, uh, if you consider uh, two biometrics uh, two biometric systems one is face biometrics another is fingerprint biometrics okay now we will use these two fingerprint biometric systems for fusion so uh one uh, one biometric systems uh, like face finger face biometric systems or uh, face biometric system is generating the matching scores okay and the uh, and the and the range of the matching score is uh, 0 to 100 okay and finger uh, fingerprint biometric system fingerprint biometric system uh, is generating uh, matching proximities which is having the range between zero and one. Okay, so here we can see that whenever we try to fuse at match score level, then we cannot fuse them together because two biometric face and fingerprint biometric systems are uh, produced uh, you know, two different sets of uh, matching proximities, uh, which are having two different ranges. Okay, one one is having uh, range zero and between zero and hundred, another is having range zero and one okay now the, so so there is a difficulty so we have to uh, we have to we have to uh, normalize we have to normalize the scores to normalize the scores which are having which are having the range between 0 and 100 okay so uh, this uh, score normalization techniques are uh, using to uh, scale up uh, the scores okay and uh, get a proper uh, get a proper uh, get a proper distance uh, uh, within the range so uh, whenever uh, we transform uh, whenever we transform the range uh, range of the uh, range of the uh, biometric scores or matching proximities then we can use these uh, scores uh, to obtain the normalized uh, scores normalized score means uh, zero uh, between uh, zero and hundred so this range can be transformed into 0 1 and whenever we obtain the 0 1 range and then that means now we are ready for fusion okay so there are some score normalization techniques like min max techniques z score techniques median technique tanish techniques so these are the normalization techniques we can use this normalization techniques to normalize the matching scores and in most of the cases, we use the min-max normalization technique. So this normalization technique is mostly used in uh, mostly used in uh, biometric systems. So we can uh, use this normalization uh, scheme or uh, other schemes for uh, normalizing the matching scores or matching proximities. Here uh, we can have the score level fusion. So we can have the different score level fusion sum method max method mean method weighted sum method adaptive method in the sum method uh, if we have the two sets of or two vectors uh, two vectors of uh, 
matching proximities then uh, we can uh, we can have the consolidated matching proximities by uh, by adding them uh, adding them into uh, one uh, vector or adding them into one feature set uh, one uh, ma one matching score set okay that means the the first uh, matching scores of the first set uh, will be added uh, with uh, the first matching score of the second uh, set okay so in this way we will have the uh, consolidated uh, matching schools by some method in the max method we get the every time we, whenever the whenever the corresponding whenever the corresponding whenever the corresponding matching scores will be compared together then uh, we can have the maximum score okay that means we pick up the maximum score uh, among among two scores and then uh, we put this uh, maximum scores in the consolidated vector okay so in this way we will have the consolidated uh, matching scores by uh, max method similarly we can use the min method okay that means we pick up the minimum score among uh, two uh, two matching scores and put that uh, put that uh, minimum scores in the consolidated vector we can have the weighted sum method in the weighted sum method we assign some weight uh, we assign some weight with every um, every biometrics matcher or every uh, every matching scores according to the according to the reliable reliability of the biometric systems and then uh, we can have this uh, weighted sum weighted sum of the uh, weighted sum of the matching scores we can have the adaptive method also these are the rank level function method, highest rank method, border count method, weighted border count method, and Bayesian fusion rules. So uh, we can use these rank level fusions uh, for uh, for uh, obtaining a multi-biometric systems. So these rank level fusions are mainly used for identification. Okay. So we will discuss uh, this rank level fusion uh, in the in the next class or uh, or whenever we will uh, discuss the uh, identification identification uh, of different biometrics then we will discuss these techniques in detail so here is an example here we can see that uh, face uh, here we have two matchers, face matcher one and face matcher two. So here face matcher means face matcher means uh, algorithm one and face matcher two means algorithm two. Two different. We have the two different algorithm and these two different algorithms are using to obtain the features from uh, obtain the features from the same uh, same uh, face biometrics. Okay, or same face evidence. Then we process this data. And after processing the after processing this data, uh, we will have the different ranks for the user identities. And uh, when we we can fuse these uh, ranks to have the consolidated rank using highest rank, border count, or logistic regressions for the same user identities. And we can use, finally we can use this uh, consolidated rank to uh, to get identified by the identification biometric system there is another example where we can see we we have used the majority voting where the face matcher uh, is generating uh, the decision match face matcher 2 generating decision match and face matcher 3 generating decision non match that means we have two match and we have one non match now we will use these decisions using majority voting so majority voting means the majority of the uh, majority of the decisions uh, uh, will be the final decision that means since uh, here we have two matches okay one non match therefore uh, two matches is uh, major uh, two matches two matchers are having majority uh, majority decision majority result or majority decision therefore the final decision will be match that means uh, the person uh, the person whose name is bob will be 
verified by the biometric systems or accepted by the biometric systems so this is called the majority voting so majority voting means uh, the majority of the decisions will be taken as the final decision here we have the decision level fusions logical uh, and logical or majority voting bayesian fusions now what are the drawbacks of multi biometric systems so multi biometric systems uh, multi biometric systems uh, uses heterogeneous sources of information so heterogeneous sources of information uh, this heterogeneous uh, sometimes these heterogeneous sources of information uh, uh, may put the biometric systems uh, in the, in the situation where uh, the multi biometric systems exhibit the low performance okay so complexity in multi biometric system since here we are using the multiple number of biometric systems for fusion therefore the complexity will automatically will increased in compared to the single biometric systems and here uh, we are changing the discriminate uh, so multi biometric systems are changing discriminate ability okay so discriminative ability uh, means uh, uh, whenever uh, whenever the whenever multiple number of biometric systems are used that means the uh, phase biometric systems uh, differentiate two persons uh, in uh, in uh, in different way on the other hand uh, if we use the fingerprint biometric system for fusion with the phase then uh, phase, fingerprint biometric systems have the different uh, different uh, uh, different way to differentiate a one person from another person okay so here we are basically changing the discriminative ability of the individual biometric systems then we can uh, another drawback is the correlation between biometrics evidences so correlation between biometrics evidences means uh, whenever we uh, use the multiple biometric systems uh, then uh, the correlation of the biometric systems uh, is uh, having some uh, problem that means the interclass uh, sometimes the interclass uh, differences uh, may be minimized uh, or uh, or we say the interclass uh, variations uh, or interclass uh, differences uh, may be maximized so therefore this is another drawback the correlation between biometrics evidences so these are the four uh, drawbacks prominent drawbacks of multi biometric systems uh, we can have uh, more drawbacks of multi biometric systems but uh, these are the prominent uh, drawbacks of multi biometric systems now what are the different applications of biometric systems so we can have the commercial applications we can have the uh, government applications uh, we can have forensic applications so here are the lots of applications uh, of biometric systems here you can see some examples of uh, say examples of biometric system that are uh, used in uh, different situations so we can use uh, in atm we can uh, used for authentication okay you can uh, we can use in airport we can use in railway station we can use uh, in uh, highly security zones or we can use also uh, uh, we we can use these biometric systems to log into the uh, log into our computer systems okay uh, that's all for today uh, if you have any questions you can ask me otherwise uh, i will stop uh, uh this discussion now you have any questions no sir okay then i am stopping this class now okay Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you.
थैंक यू सर